I guess um, uh, uh, sort of to do with that is the hardcore wrestling because ECW is kind of the start of that. And I know you did some appearances for them. Does that kind of frustrate you when you see that, that wrestling today is full of all these kind of like hardcore promotions, which is just mostly just guys hitting each other? It's a bunch of crap, man. Uh, that's not talent. And it's uh, young kids that are trying to pursue a dream, but they haven't invested the time or had the proper training or, or they don't have a clue. They're just trying to get out in that spotlight for one brief moment. And unfortunately, there are promoters that will be glad to let two kids go out there and kill each other, cripple each other, and uh, giggle the whole way to the bank. Yeah. i got to ask you this, right, because I've heard this in so many interviews. You've talked about sort of Bill Watts, and I know you're not really a huge fan of his, and there was all sorts of things, I guess, led to that. What, what exactly uh, started it? Uh, I'm going to leave that alone. That's personal, you know. Uh, Bill taught me a lot. Um, Bill was a very um, abusive man, and um, he really pushed people too far. Um, verbally abusing somebody is not funny. It's not uh, doesn't have anything to do this business. And he would uh, sometimes he would rip you apart. And, of course, uh, that happens sometimes when you're the boss, I guess. On the same token, is there a promoter that you've worked for that you've really enjoyed working with? Uh, Vince McMahon, obviously, but uh, any other promoters that you like working with? Paul Bosch. Cool. Was he NWA, yeah? Yeah, in Houston, yeah. You actually were there with, with the NWA. Okay, what was that like? Because, I mean, you were actually part of the original Road Warriors, and you were there when you got guys like Ric Flair and Ricky Steamboat and all these guys coming in. That must have been fantastic. Yeah, it was awesome, man, because at the time I was writing the television and creating all that stuff, too. You know, Bundy was there, the spoiler was there, uh, Ronnie Garvin, of course, uh, Brad Armstrong. Uh, and to, to mold the whole show was just an awesome, awesome feeling, man. You know, to have these guys go out and take my idea and, and from what I've told them, follow that, follow that that course that I've laid out there. And uh, then when you hear the people going nuts, you know that you've done the job right and that you, you know that you're building stuff. See, that's, that's the problem today. They don't build anything. They go out there and eat you 50 times and it means nothing. Absolutely nothing. The, the problem with that is there's too many pay-per-views. There's a pay-per-view every month. And I remember in the 80s, they used to kind of, they used to stretch them out, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. I don't... I don't have a problem with the number of pay-per-views, but what I have a problem with is the, the lack of talent and direction. And, uh, you know, maybe I'm living in my own little fantasy world, but it's a damn shame that uh, there's just not the place for these guys to learn. That's the problem. Another question I have for you is uh, a lot is said about Vince McMahon as a person. Uh, some people find him quite intimidating. Other people really enjoy him. What, what are your memories of working with Vince? Well, he's brilliant. Um, but you know, in his position, he's got to be rough edged. And, um, I was never a good hmm, businessman and I didn't take advantage of what was laid out there for me. I didn't push the buttons. I didn't push the issues. And I just kind of rolled with it because I was so in love with the business itself. Uh, I have a lot of respect for Vince, a lot of respect for Vince, but to say that, um, I don't find some of their stuff wrong. I find 90% of it wrong. <laughs> but so what? Who am I? I'm not the damn boss. He is. <laughs> One of my final questions would be, um, they've recently announced that Stu Hart's going to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Uh, that must be great for you because you worked with uh, Stu Hart. You got any fun Stu stories? And also, what are your thoughts on that? It's, it's something that should have been, been done long before now. You know, and uh, oh, utmost that. respect, um, man took a lot of knowledge to the grave with himself, you know, and uh, I hate that. I hate the fact that Owen's gone. I hate the fact that a lot of the guys are gone, man, and, uh, you know, it just seems like every day, you know, it, it hurts, you know, and, uh, but I'm glad the hearts are in there, you know. I don't love it up, man. You know, there's, there's, there's a lot of guys out there that don't belong in there, but they're there, and uh, so why not put some good people in there? The floor is yours if you want to say anything to your fans. Uh, uh, you've had a great career, and uh, it's an honestly an honor and a pleasure to interview you. So if you've got the floor is yours, if you've got anything to say to your fans, say it. I just want to say that uh, I love all of you, and um, I hope that you enjoyed what I did. 
Uh, if I angered you, good, because I probably meant to be. <laughs> you know, and uh, just stay true to your heart, man, and, um, and do the right thing, man. And that's all I can say. Uh, and God bless each and every one of you, and I thank you so much for supporting me all these years. Jake, thank you very much for doing this interview with me. It's been an honor and a pleasure. Very good. I appreciate it very much, and uh, see you down the road, man.